Hi everyone, Ghost Gen 3 here. Today I wanted to show you guys my spotting scope. I've had this for a bit and a friend of mine really liked it so he wanted me to talk about it. Um, I'm going to show you the case and everything this comes with. I've had this so many years. I got it in sportsmansguide.com. Really cool sight. Look at this. This has like a gun sight with your rear um, sight and front sight. So this is the way you'd be looking down here. And of course just to go towards your target. Then obviously you're going to look through here. So I added this Butler Creek flip-up uh, cap here to protect the front lens. It didn't come with one there. Here's your power settings right here. And this actually, this is 20 to 50 by 50 power. You can see right there. And this is a Yukon. And it's really, really clear. I mean, I could see pretty far with this thing. I mean, I'm amazed at the distances I can see with it comes with this rubber cap so you don't lose it it just spins there which I like and made it rubber well not made out of rubber <laughs> it's got a rubber out shell here so I think that's really cool this is actually removable here this little gun sight I like it though it's cool for farther distances I actually look through here and then you know because obviously you can have that tunnel vision when you're looking through here and sometimes you don't you got to find your target and it came in this case which I'm going to show you we'll take everything out <clears throat> little carrying case which is pretty cool and uh, here are the insides I'm going to show you everything it came with I've had this like I said a very long time and I've kept it in good shape which I do I take care of my stuff so this is a nice little padded uh, green case it's light really lightweight so this is obviously the scope itself it comes with it comes with uh, a tripod this is really really cool it's about 12 inches and spreads out like this. Actually, you can raise it up here with this uh, little pole right here. So that's pretty cool. I can loosen this, make it higher if I wanted to stand higher. If I'm doing bench seat, uh, seating, if I'm shooting from a bench, <laughs> getting tongue tied, um, or let's say I'm laying prone, obviously this is going to be too high here. But um, depending on you know kind of shooting, obviously it's got a handle here where I could turn this. And, and go left and right and here's where your video cam can go as well by the way and uh, basically you have your screw in right here it's got another size too so that's pretty cool but basically just screw it in and it's got this knob that makes it even easier to screw it in and then there you go it's pretty cool and it's pretty sturdy. Now, you can tighten everything up here. That way your scope doesn't fall or turn. That way you leave it exactly where you need it and want it. And I think that's obviously important. And that's what it looks like right there. <coughs> there we go. To me, it's been really, really helpful. So, now, so now I'm going to show you another really cool thing it came with uh, for a car car window. And I've never, I've probably used it maybe once or twice. And some of you will wonder what's for. And by the way, it comes with a strap uh, that you can wrap around, I guess, your neck or whatever. And this strap basically goes in right here. And this right here. So basically, this would go in right here. So I like how they send all these accessories. And then this is basically what it'll look like and it can go around your neck or shoulder carrying it that way so that's a pretty good option I love options so you'll just hear me say that and hands free and it's got multiple pockets in here it even came with a little cheap cleaner I mean but hey it works I have other stuff for cleaning lenses but it has this individual pockets for everything and it also came with this I thought is interesting and this is for a car window um, let me put this on as I, as I tell you, but basically, let me show you how this would actually go. It's if you're in the car and you're see seated there, maybe you're doing surveillance, uh, you know, land law enforcement or a private, and uh, let me take this off. Basically, you could attach it to your, um, to your, what do you call it, to your window. And basically, where am I? 
if this were your window and you're sitting in your car, you actually have to lower your window all the way down. And basically, you're going to put it like this so and then tighten it. And what this is going to do is going to have the scope basically. I can't find the other screw right here, I apologize. But basically, you're going to have the scope here mounted and you can just sit in your car and it's stabilized. Obviously, everyone's going to see you with a big scope to, to your window, but um, <laughs> I, like I said, I haven't used that for that. I mean, if I was going to use it in the car, I'd use it just like this and uh, look and then put it down so you're, not everybody's watching you uh, with a scope, you know. But basically, like I said, this is a very strong, good scope easy to clean on the outside uh, I've had it God knows 10 years or more and the thing comes in really handy it's lightweight um, it doesn't seem bulky to me I mean you can take this by itself you don't have to have all this with you um, I've taken it hiking and uh, although I have binoculars you know I usually carry binoculars 10 by 25 rubber armored and they're good for pretty much most everything I'm doing out in the outdoors but every now and then I wished I had these to look at something further. So I have taken them just like this. Uh, sometimes with this, but, you know, just watching nature, animals and stuff. But like this is fine enough and it's really, really effective. So anyways, this is a Yukon spawning scope. Hope you guys like the item and the video. It's uh, got a really good deal. I think Sportsman Guy still sells them. And uh, I don't know if it's this exact, exact same model, but uh, it's a good product. I've had it, um, and you know I've dropped it only like say from the tripod. So when it was on the tripod, I was setting it up, and I didn't set it up right, and it fell this way. So that would be like you know 12 inches, and it still worked good. I haven't dropped it say say here <laughs> four feet or something to the floor. You know I try to take care of my optics and stuff. So, but it seems to do pretty good. So, anyways, hope you guys like the. The video, hope you guys have a good spotting scope. This is pretty affordable. It's nice. I love this little trigger like right here. It's really cool. Take care. Click on the like button. Subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. God bless.